most likely, but it's actually a very popular way to get around in the snow as well. That's true, and 7 and 4's Allie Baker is getting a crash course on snow biking firsthand. She joins us live this morning from Timber Ridge Resort in Traverse City with more. Good morning, Holly. Good morning, Melissa. That's right, I'm at Timber Ridge. And I'm taking a crash course, but I hope that no crashing is actually involved because I'm here with Tim Brick, an expert, the owner of Brick Wheels in Traverse City. We're trying to figure out what this snow biking thing is all about. Tell me a little bit about snow biking for all those people who want to ride their bikes all year round. Well, I think since uh, bicycles were invented, people have been trying to figure out a way to make them work in the snow. And finally, a company in Minnesota has started uh, manufacturing parts that um, kind of make the bike much more practical for snow use. Uh, a lot of the parts that are on the bike are just uh, the same as what would be on a regular bike, but there's a certain, uh, a few uh, certain items on there that make it really good for snow. Um, first of all, the tires are incredibly wide, um, and they allow uh, good flotation through the snow. Um, this particular one doesn't have real knobby tires, but the one behind us does, and um, the other thing that's kind of neat on these is that all the cables are completely encapsulated, so there's no chance of contamination, them getting rusted and not working. Um, but it's just created a whole new uh, way to enjoy uh, northern Michigan in the winter. Those tires are big. There's really a lot going on there with those. But with those tires, you can really get into the snow. You can go on trails. You can do a lot with them, right? Yeah, absolutely. And believe it or not, those are not the widest ones. There's some wider ones than that, and there's some knobbier ones than that. Uh, like anything, there's a lot of uh, selection now, now becoming available as it becomes more um, uh, popular. Uh, actually, that chain uh, on that bike also is a rust-proof chain, so um, there's a lot of uh, really neat features that allow it to work real well. We've also had some of our customers that um, took a couple of these bikes last summer and rode them from South Haven all the way to Grand uh, or Glen Haven. So imagine that along Lake Michigan. Um, that was a, a really cool five-day adventure that these young. Uh, Riders. Biking firsthand, she joins us live this morning from Timber Ridge Resort in Traverse City with more. Good morning, Holly. Good morning, Melissa. I'm out here at Timber Ridge, and there's just enough snow to make snow biking really easy and awesome. We've got some guys out here doing it right now, sh showing me up here, doing some tricks. And, of course, I'm with Tim Brick again. So if people are interested in getting their hands on a snow bike, where can they do it? Well, um, there's a couple of places you can rent them. Um, Brick Wheels has rentals out here at Timber Ridge. I believe Crystal Mountain has um, rentals there as well, and they allow uh, biking on their trails. And... Um, you can take them just about anywhere. It's just, uh, at this point, a good uh, chance to figure out where they will go. Um, <laughs> so these guys uh, are riding. They run about eight pounds of pressure, so they get really good traction. And um, they've really packed in a nice trail here because that makes it easier the more it's packed in. But um, they're uh, fun bikes. They're, they run, they'll start around $700 for just a real simple single speed. That's not something I would suggest you take out in the woods. Um, but it'd be fun for riding around town. And then they go up to the sky's the limit, really, like in the three thousand dollar range. But like everything, you can get customized stuff. And it, and even if you don't want to buy one, if you just want to rent one for a few hours or a day just to try it out, you can do that too, right? Yeah, here at Timber Ridge, we have a half day rentals and a full day rentals, and um, really a couple of hours out there is um, about most uh, what most people can tolerate. You want to dress uh, like you would for Nordic skiing or if you're running outside because you certainly do build up uh, a lot of heat. So you want to kind of dress like these guys are. Matt's got a, a headlight on um, so he can ride at night and certainly it's a little uh, shorter days around here. So the headlights are a real handy thing to have as well. It's a pretty cool thing to have for biking at night. It's very cool for northern Michigan. It's just uh, another way to enjoy the winter. Um, we've got snowshoeing, skiing, snowboarding, and now we've got snow biking. Snow biking. We can do it all. All right. Well, it's kind of like riding a bike. It is a bike. Do you think I should uh, give it a try? Well, absolutely. I, you never... Uh, forget how to ride a bike so all right i think you should get on this one and ride away all right well i'm off and i'll see you on monday then i guess i'm just gonna ride off into the night
Good morning. Yeah, Holly, Holly's riding off into the uh, sunrise in this uh, case. And we'll uh, see you in Schaumburg. Brody and uh, Melissa, she'll be back at the studio sometime around noon. <laughs> <laughs> off Tim, they go. Tim Brick, by the way. This one is of the our... trails at Timber Ridge. And Tim Brick from uh, Timber Ridge Resort. He's doing a good job. He is. Tim with an impromptu reporter job. Uh, we, we absolutely love Tim. We, have, we do. We miss Tim Brick. Yeah, fun guy. Uh, brick wheels over on 8th Street. If, if you want some entertainment, pop in. He'll keep you entertained. Yes, nice job there. great Holly, guy. Uh, after her spill on the skis the other day, she kept it going. She on the kept bike, it going. So. And have you ever?